Well, hey, McFly subscribers. Excuse a little bit of mess back here. I do have a few dishes in the sink, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so this is kind of an update on the RV thing. Um, I figured I'd go through uh, kind of my, I wouldn't say daily routine, but every other day it seems like I have to do this, maybe every three days roughly, depending on how many showers we take, how much we use the restroom, that type of thing. Um, <clears throat> this is definitely something you've got to keep up with. So right up here, I've got a instrument panel, okay? And you can check to see, you can see those lights there. That's the gray water, that's the black water, and they're three quarter, it says. They're not that accurate, by the way. Um, a lot of times I'll flush the whole system, it'll still, still say three quarters or a, a third, you know, left. So it's not super accurate. At least you can kind of test it there. Um, if it's full, if it's showing full, it definitely needs replacing. Um, but they're three quarters, and I did do it yesterday, but I'm going to do it again today because my wife works tonight. <clears throat> Probably going to take some showers and stuff. So I'm going to take you with me and show you kind of how I do this, okay? So, <clears throat> got to go outside. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. My kid's playing outside. So, got to go out here around the back. And right here you can see you've got the, the tank here, um, the flush system. There's the sewage, and so everything dumps right into there. Yeah. And the flusher, can so you So right do up that? in here. Shh. I'm, hey, buddy. And can you flush it and show them? Yep, I'm going to. That's what I'm going to do. Can you give me a minute? Uh -huh. All right. Thanks, bud. So right in here, um, it's kind of dark. I don't know if you can see it, but... Um, this is my black water, which is going to be the toilet, and this is the gray water, which is going to be, um, you know, your uh, your sink and your uh, um, showers and stuff like that, okay? So, I first pull the black. No. So, as you can see, it's coming out. You can actually see it coming out, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. It's kind of nasty coming out of there. But at least you can see when it's fully done. When that stops moving, it goes down like you know it's fully, that. fully done. Then I grab a hose nozzle and I attach it onto here. There's a sewer flush. Now always, always have that tank open because if you fill that tank, it's gonna rush out into your, you know, out of your toilet and everything and flood your whole system, okay? All right, so now that that's attached on, then I come over and I turn on that, which is now flushing the septic system. And it'll take a second, but you can see now there's water starting to pile up in here. And it's a little dirty right now. And after about five minutes of it doing that, it'll actually wash it clean. It'll be nice and clean water coming out of that. I usually like to do it about 10, 15, depending on how, uh, how long it's been sitting there, maybe 20 minutes. Um, and uh, you can tell it's already starting to get a little cleaner looking. Um, but you really want that to be crystal clear coming out and that fully washes the whole system. So I'll uh, come back in a second when, when this is all done flushing. All right, guys, so it's been a long enough time. So I'm going to go ahead and Flush. finish up the system here. So before you do anything, you got to make sure you turn this off because if I close that septic tank and forget and I leave that running, um, it's only a 30 gallon, uh, 40, sorry, mine is only 40 gallon. Uh, that can fill up really quick with a hose. So, you gotta make sure you turn off the water going to it. And then unscrew it from here. Alright, so I unhooked that, as you can see. Now you might want to ask, you might ask, um, why not leave the hose plugged in and then just turn it off and back on? 
Um, the reason why is that's super dangerous because if someone comes in and decides to actually making a weird noise. Anyway, if someone comes in and actually flips that on, um, the spigot there, uh, you could flood your whole RV. So you really want to disconnect it and make sure that no one actually goes and twists it, especially little kids, right? Who are really interested in what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> so now that that is uh, done, we've got this system here. We close up the septic completely before you open this because you can get some back smell into your gray water tank, which you don't want. And then you pull your gray water, which usually is sudsy. You can see it's kind of blue coming out of there. It's got soap and whatnot in it. And that'll actually wash that whole tube down, make it a lot cleaner. So it's not filled with poop and whatnot, um, whatever it doesn't get with um, the flush system, okay? And that's pretty much it. Now, definitely wash your hands um, after touching all that. That's all dirty down there. I mean, it's not super dirty if you keep it clean, but even so, good idea to wash your hands really well. If not, wear gloves before doing it. I don't wear gloves. I just don't touch anything and wash my hands really well uh, after so I don't get sick. So that's pretty much a every two or three days I gotta do that. A um, little pain in the butt, but not too bad. Um, we do have four people in the RV, so we use a little bit more of dishes and stuff. So I, I flush usually the the um, gray water tank, which is the sink and everything. I flush that every two days, and then the, the toilet is every about four, uh, the black water. So that's pretty much what I do. That's the, the schedule. So I know a lot of you were asking what are the daily routines of being an RV, what make it difficult or easier or whatnot. And that's one of them, definitely. And I'll keep you updated on the other stuff, so. Anyway, you guys go catch some fish. All right, one other thing I forgot to mention is I use these little things. Um, they make up like a liquid stuff as well, but uh, these are pretty handy. Um, you just drop into the toilet. So I lined it with some toilet paper because you need it to be able to flush. So you put that in there, fill it up a little bit, and with some water so it flushes down really quick. It peels apart. And then drop that into your tank. Um, excuse the kind of messy toilet there. Um, <laughs> we clean it two or three times a week. Uh, it just wasn't cleaned yet. But anyway. Then outside. Yeah, you can go outside, bud. Now. All right, so that's that's the end. Um, I do that after I flush the, the system and I make sure that it's closed back up and that will kind of, that stuff will break down all the, um, you know, particles and everything, help break down the toilet paper, special toilet paper, by the way, you got to use a breakdown type of toilet paper for it. Uh, it's different. It's more expensive and it's not as nice on your butt because it's not, it's not soft, but it breaks down easier. Um, and allows it to decompose in that in that tank system but those little little pods have like an enzyme in it that actually break down all the stuff and turn it a little more liquidy and allow it to drop in instead of having logs if that makes sense <laughs> uh, for lack of a better term there okay so uh, you got to do that like I said every once in a while um, but it's really not that difficult. It takes maybe 20, 30 minutes at most. Um, it's not constant 20, 30 minutes. Maybe of actual work, it's five minutes. It's not that hard. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you on the next video. And this time, go catch some fish.